muscle guys. So, there you go. I've created, <laughs> I've filled this in now. I've took a bit from this one, uh, a little bit of piece of wood in there. I took some from this culture tank and added to this. And basically now this will sustain itself. I'll start to, as you see, there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands of springtails already in there. So they'll do well in there. I also noticed there's some dendrobina worms in here when I started mixing it in. Um, they seem to be doing well. There's quite a few in there. I didn't have that many. There's also, they're obviously coming with the natural soil. There's also some, there's a lot more wood lice in there, some grey wood lice. And I know it's a lot of sort of British springtails, but the, the, the white springtails are absolutely flourishing there. There's absolutely millions of them. So I'm really happy with that. Now, the important thing you've got to give these, because obviously I've got some sun beetle grubs I've added to this now as well. The important thing, like anything, because a lot of this stuff in here is tropical, I find that giving them a bit of heat works well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, thermostat <coughs> a bit of heat cable around it and say, don't forget, attach it to a st uh, thermostat. You don't want it melting or catching fire. And I'm just going to wrap some heat cable around the edge. And then obviously I'm going to sit this one on top and this will get some around the edge as well. And it's just add some warmth to it. You know, you want it to be nice and like warm in here. This room only really gets cold as, as cold as about 16 degrees, 7 degrees minimum anyway. So it's probably not going to be on as much in the daytime. I mean, it's now reading about 24 degrees in here at the minute. Let's have a quick check. Yeah, so... The temperature in the room currently is really at 24 degrees. So likewise, I don't really give, I, don't, I found these do, are doing really, really well without any special additional light. However, they do get na uh, natural daylight come in. Um, they actually do, they, they do get it um, shining on them. Not direct, of course, but it is quite bright in this room. It's a south facing room. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add some food to this. Um, maybe you're gonna put some so some potato peelings here. I think I might put a couple more tea bags in there now. That was a tip I got from someone on the uh, the Rabs group. That's a Reptile and Amphibians Bioactive Setup group on Facebook. And um, guy on there suggested using tea bags. Um, I have, and they love them. So it's flourishing really, really well. Probably going to put some other stuff in there. Some probably some fruit, and uh, they do really well on protein powder. Uh, and yeast, yeast and protein powder. So what, what bodybuilders use. So I'm just gonna put that in there because I'm gonna put some mix when I put it in there. Um, so just don't want it going, when I mix the yeast, make like a, a, a paste from it. I don't really like going over the soil. So I'm probably gonna be taking some of this out, put it in the viv anyway. It's, you don't have to, but it's just me, it's an OCD I've got. Um, so like I say, this is, my, this is my cultures. I'll be growing these on. And sharing with some of my friends, you know, I'm more than happy to uh, put some in a tub, send them out. I'm hoping that the sun beetles will grow, will cocoon and come out, and we'll just have to wait and see. As I say, if, you, if you're interested in this stuff, there's plenty of groups online on Facebook. It's bioactive. It's the basic way offsetting up your vivariums. It makes it more naturalistic. So if you look in this frame here, this is my Amazon tree by Corvallis Hortadans. He's got a completely bioactive forest floor set up. I know for a fact that there's wood lice in here. I saw them last night in there somewhere. So whenever he goes and does his business after he's eaten, all gets taken care of. You get a smile, you get nothing from there. And it's all broken down. This is my green tree pythons biv. Let's see what there, again. All bioactive. In the forest floor, there's absolutely loads of decomposing leaf litter, which comes naturally for all the, the, all the real plants. Look in this side, just gotta be careful, keep my heart in. Do not want to get bitten. And you see, I've just been sticking bits of, uh, just bits of wood, twigs. Whenever I take a trimmings from these, I don't like the flowers off the piece lily that much in here. So what I do is I break them off. I put them down and I'll just break them off and put them on the floor and they rot away. You see at the back, the back's quite uh, maturing quite well now. 
the leaflet is starting to break down. Now, I was fiddling about in there the other day and I noticed that there's the color of the leaflet is now turning to leaflet and mold. So this is a complete bioactive setup. It's self-sustaining, looks after itself. You know, some people say it's dirty. Some people say, you know, it's, it's not the way to go. I've, I've never turned back. I've, I've, I've done both. I've had a bioactive setup and I've had non-bioactive setup and I'm never gonna go back from this. And again, it's my Cresty, Cresty Gecko, Vivarium. Again, he's got bioactive, he's got leaf litter mold in there, um, dried dead leaf litter, there's some moss. There's some actually moss growing in there, it's growing up that large. <laughs> Strip of rock at the back. His humidity now at 62%. Holds humidity well, I've got to spray that, he's due a spray anyway. Like I say, there's lots of groups online that will tell you all about bioactive setups. Um, my major, the group I'm majorly on is there's, you've got uh, the Reptile and Amphibians Bioactive Setup Group on Facebook, uh, RABS for short, and they're part of a big family that also involve bioactive buddies uh, and other groups such as Bioactive Down Under, which is a, a specialist group for those who live in Australia. Because um, obviously it's a complete different makeup down the, uh, over that side of the, of the world, so that that group is specialised for bioactive and uh, for people who reside in Australia and uh, New Zealand. So this is it, guys. That's my bioactive setup. That's basically my cult. These are my culture boxes. This is where I'll grow on my springtails, grow on my uh, cleanup crew or custodians, whatever they're also known as. If you have any questions, just feel free to send me a message. Or why not just join the Facebook groups if you're on there. Um, plenty of good files on there to read. Plenty of good information. Plenty of knowledgeable members on there. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.